Hey everybody, we've been learning about folk instruments and specifically about the string acoustic instruments. So I wanted to introduce you to my mandolin. Well, we already know that string instruments have a head, a neck, and a body. We know that they obviously have tuning pegs for the strings. And we know that they have a nut and a bridge that hold the strings up off of the neck or the fretboard. So a mandolin is tuned the same way as a violin, except it has eight strings instead of four. But they're tuned the same way. G, D, A, and E. When we bought our mandolin, we also bought this book to teach us how to play the mandolin. So back in the olden days, people didn't have books. They just learned from their family members. But today, we've got all these modern conveniences to help us learn how to play instruments. So I listened to the CD that came along with this book, and I taught myself how to play this song called Wildwood Flower. So before I play it, I want to show you the music a little bit. I'm going to zoom in so you guys can see this closer. It has the five-line staff, and it also has what we call tablature. So, tablature is a picture of the strings. And it's instead of the lines, it's the spaces. So the bottom space is the lowest string and the top space is the highest pitch string. And the numbers represent the fret numbers that you hold your fingers down in. These arrows down below show whether you're going to strum going down or going up with the pick. So it's kind of like reading a different kind of musical language. And you know that's what we call music the universal language because it teaches you how to read so many different things in so many different ways. So I wanted you to see the music up close for Wildwood Flower. Now I'm going to play it for you.